Hello, and welcome to another episode of Life and Style-ish. I'm back and excited to share another DIY with you. In this episode, I'll be making over this area of my mom's bedroom, including making a headboard from scratch. Stay tuned to see how a few changes can go a long way. I start off by measuring the width of the bed. It came in at 76 inches, but I felt I should add a little more overage and decided to go with an even 80 inches across. All right guys, so this is the fabric that we're gonna be using for the headboard. It's a really thick upholstery level fabric. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be using. And she found this at the Goodwill. And as you can see, the colors match, you know, the cream colors that she has in her room matches really well anyway. Have a little bit of green there, but for the most part, the colors, um, I think they blend really really well with the decor that she already has so yeah this is gonna look really nice yeah that's what we're gonna go with the board she picked was much longer than what was needed so here I'm measuring 80 inches on both sides to make sure that it's completely even Next, I tried to clamp down a yardstick as a guide for the saw and so I don't have to rely on my cutting skills to make sure the cut is straight. But I realized I had an issue. So it turns out my clamps are too big. It's not the um, ruler that's the problem. It's the clamps are too big to get this piece, this motor, um, it can't get past the clamp. So um, I have some other vice grips. I'm gonna see if I can find those because they are smaller, so hopefully I can use that. So fingers crossed. After attaching the smaller clamps, I double check my measurements before cutting into the board. I noticed some red flakes flying up with the sawdust. That's when I realized I cut into the sawhorse. <laughs> I pre-cut some batting and that I got from the fabric store and roll that out on top of the fabric with the pattern side down. Once I square the board, I tug the edges a bit to lessen the wrinkles in the fabric. This particular fabric had been folded, which Goodwill tends to do, and I, later I tried to steam and iron the wrinkles out. As I'm stapling, I'm trying to make sure the material is taut. I go along the sides first, then staple down the corners instead of cutting the excess fabric. This is how it looks so far. I love the color. I'm glad I measured the batting past the wood sheet because it softens the corners and edges quite a bit. At this point, I tried to steam iron the wrinkles but wasn't very successful. Oh well, on to the next step. Initially, it seemed a little too low for the height of the bed with the board sitting on the floor. 
I didn't want to drill holes in the wall or the headboard because I would have had to drill through the fabric. I found a plank of wood and set it under the headboard like a platform. It added just the right height. All we needed to do after that was to center the bed in the room and push the bed frame and mattress against the wall and that secured the headboard just fine. So here it is. I went ahead and added the other pillow. So I made the other pillow there and it perfectly, you know, it's the same material. So I think it goes really, really well. And had some sunshine coming through <laughs> right at the end. So that's nice. But yeah, I haven't sewn it yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it, but I just wanted to show you guys and also wanted to take a look and see how it looked um, with the rest of the bed. And it looks amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I think it looks great. Well everyone, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with everyone you know. It really helps my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!